All right, we're getting ready to go back through the uh, back through the fire zone again. Pick up a little more footage. Apologize for the wind noise and stuff, but I'm getting better video by holding it up above the car outside the window. So if you guys can put up with that, you can see some of the fires that are going on here in Texas. Emergency vehicles all over the place. I want to get water. The nice thing is they probably were able to run some pumps and hoses from the lake right across the dam there. I'm surprised there's no helicopters going in and out of the lake. Well, just think about all the other major fires going on right now. They may not require helicopters for this little tiny fire while they got the one like Bastrop going on right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know, 15 houses, it's getting big. It's a, this one's already taken 15 houses? Yes. that's what they were talking on the news right there. This fire we've showed so far has already taken 15 people's houses, what Robert Rutherford from Patriotic Space is saying. We tried getting it on Block TV this evening, but I had to back it up to uh, the YouTube videos to get it on uh, on film for everybody. Uh, we're wondering if the smoke and or fire has something to do with affecting the cell towers and the kind of signal that we were getting, not being able to do the live show. But we got all of the uh, emergency vehicles right here. Uh, with their lights flashing up against the news media. And there's still some fires going on down there. They probably do good to turn the news off and let them go back to fight the fires, huh? Uh-huh. Jeez Louise. So I was thinking about on the other see side. See those towers right there? Those are, uh... Well, unless they were trying to make a fire line with this road and... Let's jump in this patrol car and take it. Constable, our department. You don't see FEMA yet, do you? I don't see FEMA anywhere. When we get to the other side of the dam, you know, you know where the news crew were? Mm -hmm. I thought we might pull up, up up in there and maybe get a good camera shot before it got too dark. We'd get it over here, but we can also get a lot of rascals over here. Again, here's the dam. Uh, now entering onto the dam. I'm going to try and put the camera up above the car. Hopefully I can get a better angle at it. Yeah, the wind's changing direction. Uh-huh. A lot of stuff burning down there. On one side, fire. The other side, water. <laughs> Look up there, top of the like hill. like a house is burning or something mm -hmm. right there. Something on the top There's of the... fires up there on top of that hill, too. That's the fire that, uh... Yeah, that's the fire I was, the smoke is I was too. tracking.
Are those just lights? Yeah. Okay. Looks like a little flickering below it, though. I wonder if it jumped the river. Well, it had to have. Think it jumped the river? It had to have. Looks like they kept it from jumping the, uh... The dam. The, the dam. But it jumped the river. The highway so far. That's why it's so, so smoky right I got to roll up the window. Getting ready to drive into the cloud. I've got the, uh, internal filter on this car on right now, so the smoke will be leaving here in a minute. I guess that's the power plant down there. Okay, those news crews were parked over here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's pull in the lot there, yeah. Let's see if we can get it outside of the car. Yeah. 